Alright. Mm -hmm. To Sepix Prime we go. This is too easy for voice chat. Oh, I always go with voice chat, man. You nah. get to know these people. I don't want to know nothing but beside what the loot drops are. That's all I want to know. We'll regret it when you do something hard. Well, the fallen will continue to claw at the walls of our city unless <laughs> well, we strike them down. Well, I won't be doing matchmaking for something hard, so I, I'm not concerned them. about that. These guys are just matchmaking, you know, matchmaking. Probably never That's how I met no cheese bums. I, uh, I, I told them after we, we completed our strike that uh, I recorded my footage, and he's like, you wanna add? and then he added me up. I'm like, okay, let's do it. That's how I met him. He's a good guy. He oh, joins nice. me up all the time. Oh, whoa. It's the social aspect of the game for me. The fact that I know so many people who are playing it that keeps me going. If I didn't have that, oh. this game would have wore me down. You guys want to get that uh, event there or not? Yeah, I got a bounty for that too. Actually, oh. I actually didn't think events happen tomorrow. Great, let's do this. Oh, Ascendant Shard, yeah. Yeah, I like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Forgetting to switch out my weapons then. I'd better go with a rifle than a long walk. Oh, yeah. Fallen and hive. Let's hope we can avoid the crossfire. Is that a triple? You think you killed three enemies at once with the uh, fusion rifle? Yeah. I think you could get four. Theoretically, you could probably get seven, because that's how many shots some of those fusion rifles shoot off. Of course, trying to arrange that would be ludicrously difficult. It might be possible on that Dark Beyond mission. Pretty complex. I'll need time. are getting smarter. It's like the entire system is wired to it. I'll work faster.
But just so you know, there's more fallen and hive on the way. Damn, well, every time I hop in your party, you're with a different group of guys. You're like my ex-girlfriend. Hey! <laughs> Is this bike hey, what? What's huh? up? Is bike rape talking to me? Nah, no, nah, dude. nah. That ain't me, man. Who <laughs> hot? <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, man, I, I didn't even see you hop in there. You feel like get a notification. Well, I'm pretty aggressive at, you know, trying to make friends here, so... I at the that. very least, that would help, you know, hopefully uh, build up our, uh... Build up our clan for the, uh... THE CULT OF FOLGOTH! <laughs> Have you been promoting it at all? No! <laughs> uh, well, actually a little bit. I've been talking a little bit about it. I don't actually know how to join a clan. I've got that app, but I didn't look into, uh into joining a clan. So I need to do yeah, that. I, I don't know. It's not as easy on the app as it is if you do it on a uh, computer. The layer is up ahead, under that colony ship. So Just whoever's in the party and doesn't have a, or a clan, join the Cult of Fogoth. Well, uh, you want to be, you know, <laughs> get more pickier than that. What's that? Oh, don't just add, let people get added in there willy nilly. We'll get end up with like annoying kids. Like what? What, what happened last night in the raid? Well, normally when you're in a party, you're with mature adults. Normal. Normally. I did get suckered into a raid with a bunch of kids. We did most of the work. They did some of the work in the beginning, but toward the end, they got, they got really annoying. Who actually invited them, actually? Uh, they invited me, and normally I don't like to play with people unless I know them personally, but I gambled it because they were talking about the raids, so I'm like, alright, we'll try out the raid. Then oh, okay. <laughs> they had all the 420 jokes and your mom jokes. Well, fortunately it never got that bad. It was mostly like... <laughs> they got really they annoying towards... They didn't any of those gems. Thankfully not. <laughs> but, oh man, if I see somebody with a marijuana reference in their name, no, I will not play with them. Or any kind of reference. <laughs> <laughs> Anything referencing the N word? No way. Mm -hmm. What if their name was Mary Jane, though? <laughs> uh, I would yeah, hope that like Mary long. Jane would. I would hope that Mary Jane herself would be doing, using a, a much better screen name, like MJ or something. <laughs> and every now and then, you know, there's other names that, that really just bug the hell on me where I'll say, nope, not adding them. <laughs> So 
So where's uh Zer at? Who? The agent of the nine, where's he at today? Oh uh in the downstairs in the central room off to the right. You know the room where you buy all the clothing items with uh, for your specific class character with Vanguard marks. If you go to the oh, right yeah. side of the room, that's where the uh, Agent of Nine is. And he, today, he has the Red Death. And I believe he's got a helmet for the Hunter and the Titan. For the Warlock, he has those right. gauntlets. Yeah, and unfortunately, I was hoping they'd have something different to buy with the modes of light, but they've got helmets again. The helmets last yeah, week, and I've already got a helmet. And layer. I just got another rare helmet, another exotic helmet. It's the same one I already have. Well, the thing is, all I have that helmet. Really. So I'm gonna see if I can crank that one up whenever I turn in a bounty, and see if I can fill up the experience. And I'm hoping that if I crank up the, if I level up. My helmet, my exotics, before I break them down, that will get more extended shards. I don't know if that's actually going to happen, but that's what I'm hoping. Do you guys want to do um, a weekly? We just completed a nightly, and we've already done a weekly. Oh, Wait a minute. baby. Can you do uh, just turn your volume up? I'm having a hard time hearing you. Me? Getting, yeah, you're getting overpowered by the music. Can you hear me if I just talk louder? Yeah, that helps too. Okay, yeah, because I was just talking a little softly because I just got off work and just kind of mopey. You're a sure cook, aren't you? Don't you guys spend most of your time yelling at each other? No, I'm not a cook. I spend most of my time yelling at customers. <laughs> oh, you yell at customers? <laughs> I'm, I'm getting, getting yelled at by customers. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> the one thing yeah. I hate about being server is that when you drop something off at a table and they ask well you to done. do something and they start flipping out on you like it's your fault. So I'm sorry dude, I'm not your server. Don't freak out on me. With its destruction, the fall and um, I took a counseling course in college and I'm already a person who's good at listening so I was the kind of guy who would, uh, I worked at a grocery store and not only did I get really good at uh, helping out customers when they were seeking help with something but it got to the point where a couple of guys would actually pull me in to defuse the situation. I remember the boss's brother, he was like a complainaholic. So he came to me one time, coming to, came to the back, he was complaining to me about this one customer. He was like, oh, this guy's giving me a hard time. I hate what he's doing, you know. You go talk to him as though, you know, he's supposed to be passing off the responsibilities as though I'm going to get chewed up by this customer. So I go out there, I talk to the guy he wants me to talk to. And I go back in the room and the boss is standing there right beside me. And they're both looking at me and they're like, so what happened? Nothing. I got everything fixed up. We're fine. <laughs> it was kind of funny seeing the boss's brother complain to him. And, and, you know, when he looked back, when the boss looked back to his brother, it was just that dirty look of, man, you just wasted my time. 